So we are on the way to the airport. It is almost nine o'clock at night and uh, we're flying to the Cayman Islands to film a documentary for a musical project called Oni. And we're also writing music while we're there in a studio. And I'm going to be featuring on a track and also producing some of the music. I was commissioned to do this by um, a really good friend. And uh, he was actually one of the producers that helped with the Scion record. Joseph McQueen and Josh Gilbert from As I Lay Dying currently playing bass for Spirit Box. They're both going to be there as well. And I think we might have a special guest show up too. I'm not sure exactly what day, but there are rumors that we will have a very special guest in our midst. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to get as much footage as we possibly can. And, uh, you know, I haven't filmed much in the last couple of years. So this is, I feel like I'm getting my wings again, you know, so this should be fun. And you guys can come along and, and enjoy the journey. We just got here and we got to the customs line and we were pretty far ahead and out of nowhere a, a fire alarm went off. And at first no one seemed very concerned, but then they shepherded us like sheep out of the building. So now we're standing in the sun, uh, just waiting. So far I don't see any smoke, so I can't imagine it's that bad. For lateness of the concentration camps, this is how they do it. I've seen it on YouTube. Oh no. We're driving on the left side of the road. Oh God. We're driving on the left side of the road. So that's a first for me. Oh, I've been up for 28 hours and this is what they put me through. Pick up, pick up. My name's Jake. I'm from Oni and I live in Cayman. I'm really excited to be doing this record. I'm really excited to have everybody down and uh, doing a bunch of fun stuff. It's like my favorite time of the year when I'm in the studio recording. So we're at the studio. We just ate. We did an interview with Jake. Went really well. And now we're going to be setting up for more interviews and getting into the music side of things. It's really, really awesome. The studio is absolutely fantastic. We're going to get some footage of that as well. I'm very excited. This is... It's just amazing. Wait till you guys see the studio. My name is Joseph McQueen. I'm a vocal producer slash mixing engineer. I work out of uh, Sparrow Sound in Los Angeles, California. But we typically roll in around 10 a.m., 10 to 11 a.m. Josh is kind of handling more of the songwriting production end of things. I'm just kind of doing the vocal production for Jake. So I'm not, I'm not usually needed until you know, sometimes two to 3 p.m. Josh likes to get in there first and riff around and write stuff every day. And then, you know, Jake will come in, I'll come in, we kind of listen to everything. And if, if Jake is vibing with it, they'll, you know, we'll all kind of work together and write and yeah, and I'll, I'll engineer for the rest of the day. My name is Josh Gilbert and I'm producing and writing music with Jake for the Oni Project. About six months ago, we came down to do the first like two weeks of writing for this record. And then been here for about a week uh, for the second writing session. Both of the studios down here have had views of the Caribbean from like the control room window. So yeah, it's pretty inspiring to just take a break and go stare at the water and like also know that at any point you could just like go out on the boat and like, you know, go fishing or yeah. It's pretty pretty wild place to do a record. <laughs> So did you and Jake have something in mind for the song? Not really, we just kind of going off a vibe and seeing what, I kind of want to talk to him and just see kind of what he wants to do. Cool. That's what I would, yeah, I kind of like, cause we have such like a broad range of songs that I'm sure at least he could kind of say, I want one more like this or more for like sure. that, you know? We could for sure. listen to what we have and see where we fit with it. Okay. Kind of riff something. I, mean, I don't know. It depends on exactly what he's going for, but it really helps to visualize the vibe of the song when you're working with other people because 
if the person you're working with has achieved that vibe by the end of the trip, then you, it's a success. I like to get with people and talk to them and really communicate with them before going into the studio because it's like, what do you want to feel? I don't care what kind of guitar you want to use. I don't care what the tempo is. I don't care any of that. I want to know what you want to feel. So then, you know, Jake is a great singer. Jake wants to sing. Jake wants people to hear his voice. He wants to belt. All right, I'm going to make a track that sounds good for Jake's voice. I'm going to give him something that he loves to sing over. So Oni is my band. And uh, I chose the name because I'm like a big weeb and I like anime and stuff. And I thought it was really cool imagery. And I don't know why I chose it, but I did at the time. I thought it was cool. I don't and know. Um, I'm so stoked to record it. It's been like my project for a while now, off and on. Like I stopped doing music for a few years and started back and released my, my last album. And um, I've always tried to do something different every time with it from album to album. So my first album was like progressive metal. Then my next album was like, a, I don't know, like metalcore, but like not modern as much, like more like soil work, Lamb of God style. And now this new album is like a, its own thing again. So it keeps on evolving. It definitely works. It, I just got to uh, figure out how to get two guitars gotcha. in. I'm not sure. So as far as like songs that you would want on the record, Jake, yeah. what do you think kind of vibe you're going for? Like, what do you think might be missing that is a sound you might enjoy? Mm. At this point, I think we have yeah. like okay. our bases covered, but it would be cool to get like another sort of like hit, you know, like a radio kind of like very clean vocals, uh, edgy but poppy kind of vibe. It's, I mean, I'm sure there's different people do it different ways, but like for me, especially with someone like Jake, someone like Jared, you know, these are all really talented people. And I think if you wanted to have the identity of the people that you're actually working with, you have to like let them like just play off of their instincts and then listen to what those instincts came up with and then figure out what was the best out of what they gave you. Like, so with Jake, a lot of times I'll just be like, just go, just like start singing. He'll sing 20 things that nothing sticks out on, but then the 21st one is something really cool. And then that's the first line of the verse. The whole reason I kind of got into songwriting is because within like my old band, I became one of the guys that wrote music in the, the collective, you know, and I learned how to like work and collaborate with other people because when you're in a band with like five people who can all write music, you have to learn how to exist within that and like tread lightly enough, but also like make sure your like presence is known enough to like get your ideas out and stuff. It's actually easier for me to write music for other people when it's not my own project, because when it's my own project, I kind of put all these, uh, you know, you're like, this is representing me as a person and like, where am I? I'm out of my journey and all this stuff. Like it, it's way more personal. But for me, I can kind of like, I almost find it easier to get some sort of vague direction from the artist and then have them you know, try to put myself in their place, you know, or I try to put myself in from their perspective. And it's just, I guess when you're not like tying it to your own musical, like this sounds so lame to say, but like, you're like your legacy or whatever, sure. it's way, there's way less, uh, I guess on the line personally. So it's easier for me to just have like a kind of like stream of consciousness than it is when it's for myself. Cause I'm thinking about like, how does this weigh like against the stuff I wrote 10 years ago versus like five years ago. and. Uh, yeah, I, I find myself getting like stuck in that with my own music, but for writing, that's why I think I fell into writing with other people because it's just way, I guess, more natural for me to just, and, and uninhibited, you know, just to get all those ideas out. Do you like do it adding like a... I think there's a lot of 
yeah. It's kind of like we've been riding in that kind of new metal y kind of like zone right. a lot of this stuff, so maybe. So. I think it'd be cool, like. Maybe. I don't know if I want to do it. I'll, I'll just loop this, I'm not recording. It feels like I'm starting over a little bit. And I mean, I've been doing YouTube for eight years, I think about, I've been doing music for about 20. Like five, four, but probably I was about to, I was about to say I couldn't follow it. So I yeah. like it repeating where it was like, like. So YouTube is kind of just a little small part of my whole musical journey, but it's what everyone kind of knows me for up to this point. And so, Going back to working on albums and stepping away from YouTube, yeah. I think to everyone who knows me for that is kind of like, oh, he's done. He's, you know, he's kind of, he had his moment or whatever. But I'm not, I'm just going back to what I did before YouTube and what I've always loved to do. Change the lyrics is perfect. It's perfect. And I also love to make content. I do. But I think I got to a point where I was doing it for so long and I kind of just needed to change it up a little bit. And I was feeling like the stuff that I was putting out wasn't exciting for me as much as it used to be and it wasn't as fun. Not necessarily forced, but I just, I was burning myself out, mm -hmm. you know? And then, yeah, Howard approached me to do the album. It was awesome. Still got to work on music. And then my solo album that's coming out soon, obviously has been a long time coming as well, but it was really fun to work on that. But coming back to the content, because I took the break, it feels nice. It feels, like something I want to do again because it's starting to feel fresh. And this is, I think, a different type of content for me, this documentary, it's something new. It's something interesting that I haven't ever really done before. I'm kind of the silly, goofy, funny guy, which I, you know, that's just my personality and it will always be the case. But as far as content goes, I want to make what I want to make. You guys keep that crash going, there's like, pow, pow, pow. Like, oh, crash. I'm just picturing live, like, dude, that drummer is gonna have the fucking coolest feeling live. He's like, da 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 we kind of save bridges. You know, there's no reason to finish it if not everybody like, if people aren't vibing with it. So we tend to start a lot of ideas and then sit with it and see if we like it and then we'll finish the song. Um, we're, you know, this is our third time down here working with Jake and I think we're at about eight, eight or nine songs now total um, in that time. I think we've written a few more than that, but you know, like I said, not every idea is, uh, yeah. it makes the final cut. Like, but if, if, we like it, we'll, Josh will write a bridge and we'll finish out the song. What are you hoping to get out of this week that we're all here? Just some fun hangs and some cool interviews and some cool songs, do some cool shit. on a boat. First time in like 15 years. I'm deathly afraid of water, so if, I guess if anyone's gonna get me out there, it's, it's Jake. 
I didn't swim with the stingrays, yeah. but I got out there. Yeah, you look pretty relaxed over there. I am very yeah, relaxed. Uh, all the time. All yeah. the time. I mean, we're here in Cayman. Our senses of humor are so just like fucked up or like screwed up that we can, you know, it's just like we kind of have a good time messing with each other when we're, uh, when he's engineering, I'll just be like, walk up and just be like, and like shake his chair. Like, I don't know, this sounds like we're like flirting almost. You guys are, I, I think it is funny though, because he did have sort of a lot of accusations against Okay. Him. Do you wear adult diapers? No, no comment. work husbands and you know we have a we always have a good time I think and you know a lot of times we will butt heads and everybody in the room will be like eh, you know but it's like we've known each other for so long that we know we can kind of have those moments and get through them for the better of the, the good of the project you know we're both very opinionated people um, but in different ways I like working with opinionated people I don't like working with people who disagree with everything so when we ever when, when we butt heads which we do quite frequently. I, I value that because often we'll, oftentimes we'll argue or like, you know, kind of debate it out. And I feel like that produces a, a much like better product in the end. Just, he, you know, having two different, completely different perspectives sometimes where we're like, I'll just be like, I love this. He's like, I love this. And we kind of fight about why, you know, but in the end, it's better than if it had just been me or just been him. At least I think so. In your grow, just yeah. a pussy yeah. from hell. Here goes. I got a Hellcat R8, hell yeah, what's in your garage? Oh, so you're ghostwriting for Nickelback. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> gotcha. I got a Hellcat. That probably would be like a huge hit, too. That's what I was telling Joe. Right? For like one of those bands, it, it sounds would like it would be, be like, like, like Morgan Wallen's like yeah. hit song. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways. So good. <laughs> I think the vocals would be sick with the, okay. but like right when it comes in, I think like a held out like, yeah, or like a uh, some this, like. It, honestly, this intro makes no difference to me. It would just be if if it's going for single territory, I would chop it. But if it's like just a song, you know, then single yeah, I would say it doesn't matter. Yeah, my my vote is almost always shorter, it, especially because of what Jake already said. He kind of wanted to do for the verse, which is like almost like a rappy pardon me incubus kind of vibe so to me i want i feel like it should go ahead and get to a more radio-esque verse sooner but again like it's it's kind of like what you said it's tough to make a call at this point because we you know it, it's as easy as a chopped yeah bar all. So all the ideas sound cool to me like mm -hmm. you said even if it came in but yeah i, I mean it did feel like the -da 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 -da, like I, to me i feel like we should save the halftime version of it because i did like i was like feeling ready for verse already and then it was like so th this one could start out like freaking like 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 you like knee back on one side. Yeah, you know, yeah like for sure. Like... For sure, Jake. What do you think? Do you like the vibe? I love it. It's just super chaotic. I got like a creepy melody for it already. That's what we like to hear, boys. Howard Bennington on the Vokes. Lincoln and Gabe. Jake is so easy to work with. He literally, I mean, he's down to try anything. If he has an opinion, you know, for something, we're, you know, open to hear that too. It's, you know, it's very collaborative and he's, um, he's just, I can't say enough good things. He's got a great voice. You know, he can, he can kind of do it all. He can, he's got a great singing voice. He's kind of sound, you know, I think it sounds modern and, and current. He's got like a, a variety of different screams and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's great to work with. Or you could be like, hold on to your right before. Hold on to your right before. Yesterday was very cool. It was a lot of fun. We wrote a song from scratch. We all sat down together as a group. Me. Joseph, Josh, and Jake, the four J's, and we came up with something really cool. We have 
an intro, a verse, chorus. And I think today we're gonna to try and wrap up the instrumentation of the song and have Jake lay down some vocals. He's such an amazing singer and such an amazing dude. Working with everybody and him here at the Caymans has just been amazing. It's been an awesome experience. There's a lot of passion for music in these guys and it's really, really, really fun to share that and to just create something that's fresh and new and exciting and there's never been a more beautiful place to do it and I'm just blessed to be here. cool thing about modern metal is that it doesn't have to be dark or satanic or cold it can be whatever you Won't want be to be scared of what you so, find so you can say like so promise me you or so won't promise me that promise me or promise me that promise me you won't be scared of what you find promise me you promise. like a quick you you won't be scared of it. Bert says, like, you find your melody. So promise me you won't be scared of what you'll find. Silence in the room of lies. Oh, I'm uh, Howard. Uh, You're Howard. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a few bands, I guess. Light the Torch, Scion, uh, uh, oh yeah, King Fighter, and that's, that's a whole other thing. But yeah, <laughs> kind of been a part of this uh, a few different times with these guys, and it, it just getting to work with these guys, it's always fun. And how often do you actually get to be in a studio writing, like watching people write a song rather than being involved in it? Like you get to just watch the process? Yeah, not a lot. Is generally if I'm in a studio, which seems to be a good amount these days, I'm generally doing something i mean so yeah but to actually sit back i'm not like the main focus it is kind of nice at the same time i'm still interjecting yeah. myself in this <laughs> as always it just can't keep my nose out of it here we go i can fish the scared can you have a five i know you got, you got it you got it bro one more time let's get that <laughs> fine you hear that, A musician's best friend. <laughs> Improvisation. That's how 95% of all music is made. I it. Like, look up to the rising sun, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's something like it could be. It feels yeah. like we're trying to squeeze in a lot of ideas. Thing. Well, no, no. It just it feel it doesn't feel like something you would like. Say about? No, just, it doesn't. You know, he Jake is like a right? special guy in that that like inhibition I was talking about with, with my own music. I feel like Jake feels almost zero percent of that. Like when we're writing lyrics, he will just um, like generally the way we'll do it is uh, I'll bounce like a uh, rough of whatever the musical idea is. Jake and I will go sit on his back porch or the front porch or just in here and I'll just play it and I'll have my voice memos on my phone and I'll just like uh, tape him, you know, just singing whatever ideas come to him. And it might be like five minutes, might be 10 minutes straight. And I'll like listen back once we're done and kind of like highlight which melodies are good. And you know, it might only be like 1% of the like hundreds of ideas that he comes up with. But because he's so like stream of consciousness like that, I think there's way more raw material to work with as a producer. And that's like really helpful. It's like the worst if somebody comes in and they have no idea of the direction or anything. But like Jake is very in touch, I think with whatever that like X factor that makes good writers good. Like he's able to just kind of like, uh, uh, just start going and he just keeps going until something happens. Poisoned, right? Ever since I learned how to automate a fake wall pedal and Pro Tools, I just abuse it. 
whoa, the computer just like restarted itself. They could go like pretty like dime bag. Like if it was like if it started and then paused, like dun dun dun. Like, like, like yeah, exactly. That might be kind of cool. That'd be heavy as fuck. So simple. Let me uh, actually record that. Really? Ready? Cool, crazy. <laughs> Highlight has been, for me, I guess writing the song. Like, that's been the best part. Seeing the guys' reaction to it, hearing Jared's solo, hearing the chorus, um, the verses are really sick, the music's sick, so I can't really pick like one so thing. That's not, that's not the whole song, song. yeah, yeah. Whole, like I said, writing this. song. Oh. It'd be cool if I like ended it with like the, or whatever those notes are. Or do it like with like, money, money, All right, day four. We got a lot done yesterday, it went really well. I'm very happy with our progress. We got a song, I think, almost finished. We laid down a chorus with vocals. We have the intro riff. It, dude, it smacks so hard. The riffs are so sick, I love it. We had everybody listening to it. Howard Jones was there. He was listening to it. He was giving a little bit of input. He loves the song. Josh and Joseph, and we're all vibing it really hard. We gotta wrap it up, we gotta finish it up. So uh, come with us and let's do the last day and see if we can get this done. It should go up on the second. I, I think, up, yeah, because I think it's losing energy as it goes instead of gaining energy. Uh, no. I like the first half of that. I mean, it's it's pretty much what we've been doing the whole time. Like, but I, um, my God, dude. <laughs> I love this. We should just overuse the shit. Yeah. If this is like the, uh, if there's any like segment of the video, this is this is the the day of me trying so hard to finish the verse. <laughs> if you, I bet if you go back through all the footage, it's me just being like, you guys do this. I'm gonna go write the verse with Jake. Like, <laughs> and then it's like, ah, oh, Jake's phone died. Oh, Jake's phone, phone died. died. Yeah, yeah I think it's maybe more syllables needed if we were going to do the beginning so rapid fire so okay. like because you made believe like four syllables long yeah yeah i know what you mean like i don't know what you just said but we'll get it who's ready for me i'm just oh, no. We, do, we still have to write, so we have to do this section. We have to write vocals for this. And then the second verse is just, you know, the heavy version of it. What's great about it is I don't know if it's a song that would have been written without everybody that was here that was involved with it. You know, like throwing in their two cents. I think it sounds sick. I like it a lot, I'm very happy with it. I think we all came together very well. Jake sang beautifully, and we had a little screams in there, got some singing. I did a little bit of screams, which was cool. A little guest guitar solo, helped write with Josh and Joseph and Howard. It's a great team. It was uh, it was just fun because these guys are friends first, and and then we just 
happen to get to work together. I said it was a lost cause. But you finished the song. We did. They said it couldn't be done. sessions like these with where there's you've got a lot of people collaborating sometimes it can get tense or like egos can get in the way but everybody in this session was really collaborative and like everybody was cool with everybody's idea so like i don't know it was just it was a breeze my favorite part about it because i've been in very stressful writing scenarios and what i love about this is it felt so like organic everyone was vibing chilling being themselves and making music and no one felt like, you know, it was a pain to do or anything like that. It was just all cool. So. It's been such a pleasure to have you guys. Like, it's been awesome. 